What's going on guys, it's you here bringing you another review on Data Live. In this episode, we actually get to see the battle between Shido and Kurumi to continue on. We see Nibble actually making some moves. And we even saw Re Renee, or Rene, um, being talking a little bit of her past, which I wanted to know more about now. After four seasons, we hardly know anything about this character. But we get into it. So we start off with the Kurumis, or the Council of Kurumis, whatever you want to call it, the Army of Kurumis, the Kurumi Army. We have all of them gathered there talking about the, a plan, that this plan is going exactly as they had hoped. I'm not quite sure what exactly the real Kurumi is wanting to do, but this is very difficult because we actually have the Kurumi that's with Shido right now competing for who falls first. And they use this lunchtime to actually have each other trying their food. This obviously ends up in another draw, which was fun to watch. I did like it. And Valentine's is fastly approaching. Uh, what surprised me in this episode was the fact that we see Nibbleco showing up with her, I guess you can say her other clones or whatnot and attacking shido weird because they attack him and then he wakes up and it just made it seem like it was a dream we know that she was sent obviously by isaac and trying to stop shido but it's like they attacked and then what happened like i'm, I'm kind of confused um the girls showed up as well they were always trying to seduce him they get punished in fact we actually see that when shido wakes up we have, for some reason, we have um, people looking different, more mature. We actually have Natsumi looking like her older self. We actually see uh, Sister even deciding to look a lot more feminine and like more adult-like. And even uh, just the, the girls that were in bed with him last night were transformed. But it seems that Natsumi and the girls are trying to get Shido to train. They're having him fall for different types of archetypes here uh, it was fun to see them all and trying to seduce him trying to again get him to build up that endurance and not fall for kurumi um, even Ren uh, renee i keep wanting to say renee but it's reina oh yes yeah, i think it's i think it's reina but we have reina showing up and actually seeing her like calming down Shido and her even talking about a little bit about her past life that the person that she was in love with it was her first and last love that it was actually someone that was very sweet very nice um, and I was very surprised you know that we see this information I don't think it was just mentioned for no reason I think there's a reason for why they included her talking about that I'm wondering if maybe it was someone that was like close to Shido, that looked like Shido, or even possibly Shido himself from a different life. Who knows? But she actually even explains about how she calls him Shin because she, he looks like a Shintaru. And it's just like, oh, okay, well, trying to understand that. And it's it makes sense now, I guess, a little bit. She, it's just a different name that she thought he was. But, um... We see how Kurumi, or actually uh, Reina, has to leave uh, because Kurumi shows up. She herself wants to make chocolate, but we see this whole debacle of the girls not knowing how to make any chocolate. Reina was the only one, and of course, uh, we have uh, them all freaking out. I thought it was kind of funny seeing how uh Kotori was struggling to kind of keep them together. She is that leader. But in the end, they are able to make the chocolates. And so now it is time to go up against Kurumi. But it is going to be dangerous. But guys, let me know what you guys think. This was a good episode in my opinion. As always, I appreciate you guys liking, commenting, and subscribing. But most of all, take care of yourselves and others. And I'll catch you later.